Uh, okay, so I bought this old mount or stand for a camera. It's a very old and it's from a, a large JVC uh, video camera. It's uh, it was a, a flea market for 40 Swedish kroner, which is not much. Uh, <clears throat> and it seemed to be good, but uh, we found after a while that the plastics, like uh, this clamp, clamping stuff that holds the legs in position, is very brittle and it's a lot of cracks in it. And actually, after you Two of them broke immediately. So I wanted to show my trick for a glass fiber enforcing this plastic. I'm not quite sure what these plastics are. It's it could be if it's called olivine plastics or something. It doesn't seem to be ABS because it doesn't it does not react with acetone. And it, it has, of course, no markings on it since it's it's quite old stuff. Yeah, so these are the clamps that are two of each on each leg. And I'm basically uh, trying to reinforce these, these clamps by winding uh, glass fiber around the edges and melting the glass fiber and bonding it with the plastics with a, a regular 80 watt soldering iron Sold, soldering iron uh, and I'm using glass fiber like this fabric from the cheapest possible it's for fixing boats and cars and stuff uh, so I'm pulling out these individual strands and wind them around the, the plastics. Okay, <clears throat> so now I'm uh, ready to start uh, uh, enforcing the, the plastic. So I'm using these strands of, of fiberglass and I spread it out like, like making it a bit flat and then I start to tack it on on a nice place and actually the, the glass fiber is, is seems to be quite a good uh, heat conductor so the plastic uh, melts and mixes with the glass fiber quite fast and quite good so I, I start with a tacking tacking position position like this a bit like when you're welding actually we're kind of welding here but it's plastic and wait for a while until it seats properly and then I just go around keep on keep on melting the plastic and let it blend with the fiberglass This. Uh, probably should not have too hot iron to actually burn the plastic, making it turning into carbon. This he this iron is actually not uh, temperature controlled, so I get what I get. But it seems to be fairly good. Uh, what you also can do is if if you have some parts that you're you can take plastic from other parts that like have too much plastic or is isn't critical in material so this foot uh, has a, a coning expander stuff tapered uh, plug in the bottom and you screw it in and it will tighten to the leg but uh, a large part of this is actually not needed so i cut away also a bunch of small pieces of plastic so I can add these small pieces of plastic like this and I can add material if I like 
I'm not sure it's needed here, but just to show you how to do it. Uh, it's, well, it's not pretty, but it's hopefully a much, much stronger plastic now. Also, the, the cracks I found I filled with super glue and like I wiggled it back and forth to get the super glue to fill all the cracks and I, I let it set for a while so just to make it even stronger well actually this is how I do it I'll keep on doing it I'll show the show you the result in the end okay so now it is uh, finished uh, at least this clamp uh, so what I did is I <clears throat> I wound the and, and welded the glass fiber all around uh, both on both sides of this clamp and uh, this is where you, the forces will be strongest because there is a bolt or pin going through there and it will the leverage from this clamp will drag on this plastic uh, clip and I imagine most of the forces will be around here at least that's where the the one that broke cracked uh, along this line somewhere also there is a, <coughs> a me metal uh, clamp here or a metal what do you call it rod that connects to this uh, hole here with via pin and keeps the legs together so it, they don't spread. Also here I, I enforced uh, the glass fiber where I think most of the stresses are which is uh, like this around this uh, pin that goes through the, this hole. Hopefully this will last for a few years more. Mm. It's not pretty, but it's stronger, I think. Also, when, when you wind this glass fiber, make sure to wind it so it overlaps quite a bit. And on the overlap lapping area, I think it was like here, I, I needed to add more material because uh, the material from below wouldn't flow through both layers of, of fiberglass. So, as I said, if you have some spare material, material, material you can get somewhere from some other part, that's not that critical. For instance, you might actually cut off a, bit, a, a piece of this one uh, and add it on top of the fiberglass. Okay, bye bye.